hi, I'm Ree. I'm a call handler with East. I've been here almost two years now. I've also been a community first responder with East for almost a year now, so that's another part that I really enjoy. So as call handlers, we basically take anything that comes through on our phones. So that can be anything from somebody in cardiac arrest coming through on the 999 line, um, all the way through to transfers to hospital coming from doctors. So it's really varied. You kind of never know what the next call's gonna be. I have delivered three babies over the phone. Um, you obviously get my stork badge for it. And I recently got my ROSC badge, so that's return of spontaneous circulation. Basically meaning that by doing CPR over the phone or giving somebody instructions to do those compressions over the phone, that person has then survived a certain amount of time after hospital. So both of those situations are obviously really momentous for us and it's, it's lovely to hear when the babies are born and, and you get to kind of listen in to the bit after that where the parents or the mum and everyone is just, they're just so happy and you're kind of sitting there on the end of the phone as feeling a bit like part of it um, and that sense of accomplishment and everyone kind of what says well done when you get off the phone. So they're always memorable. Kind of every call for a certain amount of time is in its, in its own way memorable, I guess. I mean, it's, it's anything from just being a friend to somebody on the end of the phone, or you, you get something and you're like, oh, that actually relates to me or to a member of my family, which makes it memorable in a different way, I guess. So obviously I'd recommend this role to anybody. I mean, I've been here two years now, so I can't hate it too much. <laughs> But it's the sense of accomplishment at the end of the day, really. If you want a job where you can help people and you don't want the kind of the goriness of actually being on scene, um, I know that's not necessarily everyone's piece of cake. So you still get to be such an integral part of that team. We call it the chain of survival. So the call handler is the first one to, to speak to them. You're still making a huge difference in those people's day. It's a completely different role to being frontline, but I think there's definitely a lot of skills that cross across. So if you've got any kind of experience of caring, anything like that, um, it definitely comes in handy. For this International Control Room Week, I just want to, people to be aware of the control rooms. I know you have the hero turn up on your doorstep, the paramedics, but there's such a vital role in call handling and dispatching in the room. We sometimes get forgotten a bit. We all work just as hard here. We're all still doing the 12-hour shifts, still speaking to up to 100 people a day. And everyone in the room really wants to help people. So they're all heroes to us, I guess. <laughs>